Remember when you turned 18? You were finally an adult in the eyes of the law. And thanks to the 26th Amendment, it means you got the right to vote. But Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy isn't so sure 18-year-olds are ready for that kind of responsibility. He's proposing a constitutional amendment that would make 18 to 24-year-olds pass a civics test before they had the right to vote. It's the same test immigrants take before they become citizens. If you pass, congrats. Here's your registration form. But if you fail, you'd have to wait until your 25th birthday to vote, unless you do six months of military or first responder service. Primetime was intrigued by this idea, so we decided to put it to the test. What is the supreme law of the land? Don't rob, don't kill, don't steal. Love your neighbor as yourself. Declaration of Independence. Unity, diversity. Constitution. Okay. We have a thing called the Constitution, which I cherish. What is the name of the economic system we have here in the United States? Uh, I couldn't tell you. The dollar bill. Dollar, dollar bill, yeah. <laughs> Capitalism. Democratic Socialism. Thank God it's not. Can you name the three branches of government? Oh my God, uh, I actually can't do that. Can I get some help? Uh, hands up. I surrender! I give up! Legislative. Yikes. <laughs> Judicial, legislative, executive. Supreme Court. I haven't studied this, I don't know. How many original colonies were there? I'm gonna take a strong guess and say 25. 10? 13? I don't I don't know. I didn't mean to say that. Name some of them. Plymouth. Florida. United States, Spain, and Brazil. Maryland, Delaware, Virginia. Pennsylvania was the best because it was the spookiest. Woo! Women didn't always have the right to vote. Do you remember when they gained the right? Uh, the, 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 it's on the tip of my tongue. Spit it out. After World War II. 1862. 1942. <laughs> 1980. 1920? Go ahead and clap. What is the name of our national anthem? Is there another name other than the national anthem? Oh my god, um... Star Spangled Banner? The Star Strangled Banner. Who did it strangle? The United States. Come on, rat. Who are you? What is this? Don't make me laugh. You're gonna be on Jesse Waters Prime Time. What do you want to tell Jesse Waters of Fox News Channel? Jesse Waters, um, have a great day. Not good on the spot, not a tester. Keep doing cartwheels. I hear that you have great maple syrup, Jesse. Where'd you hear that from? I heard it from the grapevine. Vivek Ramaswamy is a 2024 presidential candidate. All right, so Vivek, is this a real proposal? Because a constitutional amendment, it's kind of tough to get through. I think this is a moment for national unity, Jesse. And this is not a Republican idea or a Democratic idea. It is addressing a crisis of national pride in our country. 60% of young Americans now say that they would sooner give up their right to vote than to give up their access to TikTok. This is a crisis. Oh, young people do not value a country they're just passively inheriting. We value a country that we have a stake in creating, in building, in knowing something about. And so, yes, I want to revive citizenship. I want to revive civic duty. We ask immigrants to pass that test for a reason. That's a good thing. Every 18-year-old in this country should have to know the same thing that an immigrant does, too. That will revive our civic spirit. And it's part of a broader nationalist vision, if I may say it, Jesse. I agree That's with you I in this race. a thousand percent, Vivek. But do you really expect the Democrats and even some Republicans to go along with this? Don't a lot of politicians want a, an ignorant population? They do, which is why we need less politicians and more people who come from outside of politics in office. That's why it takes an outsider to get the job done. I come from the school of thought of Ronald Reagan on this, Jesse. I don't just give voters what they want to hear and spout it back at them. If they disagree with me, I believe in persuasion. 
We're not a bunch of animals. We're human beings. The, makes, the thing that makes us different as human beings and citizens from animals is that we can be persuaded. So did this idea poll well initially in tests? No, it wasn't one of my best ideas on the poll rankings, <laughs> but that's okay. I believe in it. It is a firm conviction. I stand by it, and I believe I will persuade the people of this country this is what we need to revive the next generation. All right, That's I love to roll. hear it, uh, although everyone we interviewed would have failed and not been able to have voted, but we didn't give them a chance to study. So if you give them a chance to study, exactly. maybe they would have done better. Vivek, thank you so much. And uh, we expect to see Every you on one the of them would have. Yeah, debate you. stage in about a little yes. over a week. Thank you. Thank you. Up next.